Amen. So death and the, what came into this world because man sinned. If we say man did what God said, don't do. So anytime a man does what God said, don't do. It's called sin. If God say do this, say and you don't do it, it's called sin. Your friend And sin is the foundation of death, of pain, of all sicknesses, of poverty. The foundation of pain is sin. So death was in the world. Sickness was in the world. Disease was in the world. Poverty was in the world. It came into the world through sin. Let's read 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. First John chapter 3 verse 8 He that committed sin is of the devil for the devil sinned from the beginning for this purpose the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. I say, there are your bonnie no free upon some. If you say upon some, na of free fifty and say, yeah, bonnie. A anti and a winner called Bano Babi in a wordy set up a say upon some when you ma. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening? Uti. When it's time for preaching, don't let anybody, anything psych your attention. Fix your eyes on the word. For, for when it is a seven or so. He that committed sin the body, no. is of the devil. If you open some. So the manufacturer, the, the, the producer, producer of sin, the body, no. is the devil. Hey, open some. The devil is the one who instigates people to sin. Open some na, or my, or nipa, hey, because he knows as long as you are working in sin, if you, show him, say, so far, say, oh, nambone, you no. are digging your own grave. One, kasa, Utu, amena. Sin Bonne. is the source of all the troubles in the world. Any or how you know in fitness here. Do you know that? I, I don't want to digress. I don't understand. Hmm. Do you know that? I heard that some millionaires in Ghana. They, they started their companies. And they employ Ghanaians. As managers. They have destroyed the companies. So now all the millionaires have closed their, their they have closed their companies. And the small money that is left. They have put it in treasure bills. When they ask them, they say, I won't do any company again. You do company in Ghana. Ghanaians will destroy it. Ghana for best so now we have a lot of young people. They don't have job to do. Because the man who will do the job. If he said you obey you, man. Let me tell you, if you go to America, America bridge, it's man. not the government that uh, do that job for people. No. In America, America, the government employs only small number of people. The rest of the people, one man has a company he employs for. One man has a company employed ten. One man has a company employed twenty. They are the businessmen in America. They are the one who employ the people. That's why when you go to America, there's jobs in America. Here in Ghana, Ghana, you do a job and see. You employ one person. You will steal all your money. Uh, the other day. There's a pharmacy in our area. Pharmacy be war. There's a pharmacy in our area. Be be a yet, you know. uh, when they at the at the middle of the year, they would do stock taking. They take stock. It drew a few few When they, they take the, the stock, no money in our church. The woman said, "Then I am owing." Say, "Oh, church, no man, no man, no." Or say, "Medical." Because pharmacy shop, eh, they get the medicine. Or mo kofen road. When they sell, or mo tonga. Then they go and pay. No ma kutiaka. So. That's what they do. So they are always owing those who bring the medicine. Now when they do the thing, then she's in there. She has to go and borrow money from the bank to pay. So she went to church. And say, Pastor, my business is going down. 
They say, but who is in the shop? No, so why the the brother who is uh, taking care of the shop is from the church. He took the person from the church. So say, brother, so so and so is the one who is taking care of my shop. When he closes his work and he's going home, search him. Say, I can't do that. He's a dick. He's a I can't do that. Say, so go So when the guy closed the church, the work, when he was going, to say, brother, brother, no, can, uh, can I look into your bag? Meet me at your bag. Say, oh, madam, why? Oh. My, my what is the matter? Day, Say, don't day worry. Day also, also. Let me look into your bag. My bag in him. When they look into the bag, oh, here in the bag in him, no. medicine that are expensive. He, he has taken three. No, 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 no. Every day when he's going, he takes three. And no, 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 no. the medicine in the pharmacy shop, no, no, no. the profit is only small. Uh, so he's so taking so the be. medicine plus the profit. Into a he is killing so the, the woman. That shop, my, my, my wife knows that shop. The woman has closed the shop. So if she were employed two, three, four people, that, that business is gone down. So the problem of his sin, a time is going to come where well, if you don't take care, the number of unemployment in Ghana will not handle it. There's a video going around. Uh -huh. A man said he was taking an in India, he was taking to Canada. Papa, we also had to Canada. Canada. Where, where they sell milk? Where they sell milk? When you go there, the one who is selling the milk, he's not there. You just go and open the milk. You fill your gallon. Then you take your money and put it into the money bag. Then you, you change yourself. Then you take your money. Then you take your money. Then you take your money. Then you change yourself. Then you take your money. Then you take your money. The owner will come and take your money. Then you 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 take your money. <laughs> they, they will carry the machine oh, plus the money plus the uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, so sin is a problem we are suffering because of sin that's what I done Pastor Dan used to have a trotro he saw the trotro very and said this is what he did from today, me to buy trotter hey, to give it to somebody. somebody. Never! It, it be because the man, if he's a papa, no. he's working. No, he, he goes man. to work. Okay, uh, master, the car broke down. So, oh, papa, car but he's working. And so, no, he, man. so but now, what oh, Pastor Dan has also got to has a, a trotter. He has also, also sold it. He said, from today, me, I have a taxi. I gave the taxi to the church. We went and used it to buy the land. I said, from today, for me to buy taxi and give it to somebody. Never! Because he's eating coffee. And calling the master, can I say, oh, I said, Papa. Somebody gave his new car to somebody, okay, mechanic. Say, so change it for me. Go and buy a new. He uh, said, Oh, Master, the thing where it's one, and we I have say, to buy a new one. Say, this is a tough How one. much is 1,005? Uh, he, he gave the money no, to this the mechanic. Man, no. The mechanic went and said, We want to Then he went and bought an old one. No, I got told the that. 200, 200 and fix it under the car because the owner can never enter under the car but the problem was happening so he took the car to another place and they removed it he said master look at him and then you if you don't take care of it it is sin that will finally destroy this world So anytime you sin, you produce death. When you sin, you produce death. Because the wages of sin is death. Sin, death. Sin, death. When you sin, it must produce something. And the thing it produces is sickness, disease, poverty, death.
So, and our story has become terrible. We don't have answers. So Jesus came. Who is Jesus? He's God. He came down. He came down. It was so when he came. The Bible said for this purpose the son of God came into this world that he might destroy the works of the devil. The devil's works is sin. So Jesus came to fight sin. He came to destroy sin. Anytime sin is not part of your life, there is victory for you. Hallelujah. Amen. When you walk in righteousness, uh, let me go straight and finish this. Let me go straight and finish this. The wages of sin is death. Bonne. So Jesus came. And Jesus we, 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 we have all sinned. We are all supposed to die. So Jesus came. And Jesus died. And then he said, I'll pay the price. As many as believe on me. Immediately you believe on me. Death. Sickness. Disease. Will have no power over you. Because I have paid the price. So he died on the cross. He paid the price. So after paying the price. He said. Go. No, say, Monko. Tell everybody. Monko can I have paid the price. Say, when you believe say, Mujibidia. that Jesus say, Yesu. pay the price, Etiakana. death Uwo. will have no power over and you. Me also be. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read, before I end this uh, uh, sermon, let's read John chapter 8. Verse 11. Can you hand three more? I just want to show you John chapter 8, verse 11. You can write it and, and raise your head and look here. She said, No, my Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and go and go and go and. The, wo was the woman that was caught in adultery they brought her to Jesus Jesus asked the people if you have not seen the person who has not seen before throw your stone then they all left then Jesus said where are those who are accusing you they are all gone then Jesus said I also will not condemn you but but go and go Go and sin no more. Go it means when she goes, if and she, she went and sinned, so something more terrible will happen to her. So Jesus said, Go and sin no more. Because sin is a source of all pain. But Thank God Jesus paid the price. Yeah, the radio, I, say, yes, I say, thank God Jesus paid the price. Yeah, the radio, I say, yes, he paid the debt. He did, he did not owe. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Yeah. Now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. I said he paid the debt he did not owe. I owe the debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Oh, now I can sing. A brand new song, amazing grace. Lord Jesus, that I could never So what is sin? Sin is a character. 
is a character in people. The human being is a creation of God that has the highest possibility of self-destruction. What we do to destroy ourselves is sin. So Apostle Paul said, hey, hey. Sin is killing me. The thing I don't want to do. Even the thing I don't want to do. I don't, do. I don't want to do one. But I, I, I see myself. Hey, I don't want to do. 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 The thing I want to do. I love you to one. I love you one. I love you one. I love you one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The thing I don't want to, I want to do. I don't want to do. I want to do this. I want to do. I don't know. I don't know. I want to do this. I want to do something to push me. This one I don't want to do. 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 So Paul said, what a wretched man I am. He is wretched because the thing he doesn't want to do it be the thing where he do. And those things can destroy him. But that is the reason why Jesus came. Hey, I'm not talking to somebody here. So Jesus came. And what did he do? He destroyed the works of the enemy. First John 3 8. First John 3 8. He came to destroy the works of the enemy. What is the works of the enemy? It is called what? The works of the enemy is called what? The works of the enemy is called what? The works of the enemy is called what? A friend of Bonnie. And what did Jesus came to do? For this reason, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil, which is sin. So when you give your life to Christ, it's destroyed. When Jesus comes into your life, the sin problem is destroyed. You are not. Uh, I watch National Geography. And I saw birds. When the mother bird goes to bring uh, food, when it comes, the baby birds. What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? They open their mouth. When the mother bird comes, they open their mouth. They open their mouth. It is automatic. They are born today. They know they have to open their mouth. When Christ comes into your life, that thing that makes you to sin is destroyed. And then a new life is given to you. That life will make you successful. Hey, am I talking to somebody? Here? Any human being that is working in sin, bring me the thing. Bring me the. Thing. I asked somebody to bring me some. Bring it. Let me show them. Fabra. Do you have scissors? Bring it. Bring it. This is a plant. We a dia. It has foundation. I remove it from the foundation from the soil. So Ninina Sonimu. Let's say that this is sin. In the advance way of money, it's inside you. And the womb. When you give your life to Christ, so do I brab on my Yeshua. This is what happens. Say, say, the cost war. This thing is too hard. <laughs> Only Jesus can do this one. Yes, you can't wait me. I yes, I do. So let me use the smaller one. So let's say this is sin. Way of money. When you give your life to Christ, so do I brab on my Yeshua. David, 
Wait, this pen away to me. You me. Okay. Thank you. So when you give your life to Christ, the, the source of the sin is destroyed. Now I say no. But the tree is still alive. And so still, it is not that's what I'm going to do. You see? Uh -huh. is, is it not alive? In fact, it's looking even fresher. Still, but it's only a matter of time. But it will die. The sin will die. So but when you give your life to Christ, the sin source is destroyed. destroyed. You feel like doing the things you used to do. In fact, sometimes you'll be doing the things you used to do. But when you do those things, you are no longer happy. The things you used to do, and then you tell others, now we catch them. Charlie, I do am. Charlie, I do am. Now when you do those things, you don't feel tired about that. You want to do you yourself, brother. One you know they hold by you. You understand the thing yeah, I now say. Uh, Then with time, now it it is dying. Now this tree said your way is dead. How many of you know it is dead? Is it dead? But it is alive. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of time. But emre kono the same thing inside you saboni sune wo will totally disappear a big journey then you have a new life now fi when ya brabo fufu a new life for Christ a brabo fufu Jesus Hallelujah Amen Let me show you a scripture Mamen chow chwe from Kwasimbi David you can leave it and sit down leave it here it has to be here whilst I preach I'll look at it. Let's read Psalm 32, verse 1. Yen kai enyom etu asam yenu chichemu bako. We have two more verses, then we are done. Psalm 32, verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Osi enshani di awote. Hallelujah. Amen. When you give your life to Christ, your sin are forgiven. And the, blessed, the Bible says, Blessed is the person. Bible say, in shani sa unipano. So what makes somebody not to be blessed? It's sin. So as long as as long as transgression, sin. As it is in your life, you cannot be blessed until that sin is forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. And Christ has come to destroy yes, the works of the devil. So all of you here, you are supposed to be blessed. I said you are supposed to be blessed. Why? Because your sins have been forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. You are no more a sinner. The thing that makes you to sin, their powers have been broken in prison. Their powers have been cut down. Am I talking to somebody here? Because, uh, Blessed is the man whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is the man whose sins are forgiven. So, now that your sins are forgiven, what do you have to do? You, you have to walk in right. Justice. You are not supposed to walk in sin because you know what bring, sin brings. If it's only the abone de ba, sin curses. And you don't like curses. No bia em You want no blessing. Me. Let me see your hand. You, you like blessing. So penshira. Ammunition. Me be mau akodi e ba ku ah. To break. I will be to me the abu bu. Psalm 119, verse 9 and 11. That's our last, my last verse. Psalm Psalm one. One. But wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed there according to thy word. But verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. 
Hallelujah. Amen. The antidote to sin is to hide the word of God in your heart. Let me tell you. I'm in control. You are supposed to make history. You are not supposed to be ordinary. You are not supposed to do what others do. You are supposed to be the person who is bringing a new life into your family. And the only way by which you will walk in that blessing is to hide the word of God so that sin will not be part of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Jesus if say yes, has destroyed the foundation say bonnie, so. of sin. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed is the man whose sins are forgiven. Jesus paid the price. He forgave us all our sins. He washed in his blood. So we are now born again. That's why the Bible calls them born again. We are born afresh. We are new creatures. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time to hide the word in your heart. So that you don't walk in sin. Because sin is not your friend. Hallelujah. Amen. The foundation of sin have been destroyed. If Christ lives in you, then sin has no power over you. To me also Hallelujah. Be. Amen. Today, I want to announce to somebody that you have power over sin. You may have the appetite to sin. But that appetite is dying. I said that appetite is dying. Because the foundation is destroyed by Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I have a word of prophecy for somebody. A time is coming that you will carry this microphone and you will be preaching to other people. A time is going to come that your hand shall be anointed that you shall pray and the people shall be healed. A time is coming when you speak people will say thank you. Your word will encourage somebody because the power of sin in your life has been destroyed. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says blessed is the man whose sins have been forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. Stand to your feet. You know, I'm also you have power over sin.